lighting a spark. That's what community colleges can do. That's what learning a new skill or training in a new field can do. And that's the reason that I'm here today. Uh, we've got to light more sparks all across America. That's going to make a difference in uh, the futures of individuals who are looking for a better life, but it's also going to make a difference in America's future. So I've set a goal that by the end of this decade, we are going to once again lead the world in producing college graduates. To achieve that, we're making college more affordable, and we're investing in community colleges. But the goal isn't just making sure that somebody's got a certificate or a diploma. The goal is to make sure your degree helps you to get a promotion or a raise or a job. And that's especially important right now. Uh, obviously, we're slowly recovering from a very painful recession. But there are too many people out there who are still out of work, without a job that allows them to save a little money or to create the life they want for their families. That's unacceptable to me. It's unacceptable to all of you. So we've got to do everything we can, everything in our power, to strengthen and rebuild the middle class. We've got to be able to test new ideas, pull people together, and throw everything we've got at this challenge. So we're going to have to have all hands on deck. And that's why last year, we brought together major companies and community colleges to launch a new campaign led by business leaders from across the country called Skills for America. And the idea was simple. If we could match up schools and businesses, we could create pipelines right from the classroom to the office or the factory floor. This would help workers find better jobs, and it would help companies find the highly educated and highly trained people that they need uh, in order to prosper and to remain competitive. So today we're announcing several new commitments by the private sector, colleges, and the National Association of Manufacturers to help make these partnerships a reality. Through these efforts, we're going to make it possible for 500,000 community college students, half a million community college students, to get industry accepted credentials for manufacturing jobs that companies across America are looking to fill. Because the irony is, even though a lot of folks are looking for work, there are a lot of companies that are actually also looking for skilled workers. There's a mismatch that we can close. And this partnership is a great way to do it. So if you're a company looking to hire, you'll know exactly what kind of training went into a specific degree. If you're considering attending a community college, you'll be able to know that the diploma you earn will be valuable when you hit the job market. And a lot of that's already happening here at NOVA. What all these steps boil down to is this. Right now, there are people across America with talents just waiting to be tapped. Sparks waiting to be lit. Our job is to light them. Uh, and there's no time to lose when we've got folks looking for work, when we've got companies that need to stay competitive in this 21st century economy, and when we know that We've got to rebuild the middle class, and a lot of it that's going to have to do with how well we do in manufacturing and how well we do in those jobs that are related to making products here in the United States of America. The fact is we understand what it takes to build a stronger economy. We know it's going to require investing in research and technology that will lead to new ideas and new industries. We know it means building the infrastructure, the roads and bridges, and manufacturing the new products uh, here in the United States of America that create good jobs. Above all, it requires training and educating our citizens to outcompete workers from other countries. That's why today's announcement is so important. Uh, and that's why I also want to see Congress, uh, so Jim, get working on this, uh, pass the Workforce Investment Act to build on this progress to build on this progress with new and innovative approaches to training and to really figure out what works. Now, we've got a lot of programs out there. If a program does not work in training people for the jobs of the future and getting them a job, we should eliminate that program. If the program uh, is working, we should put more money into that program. So we've got to be ruthless in evaluating what works and what doesn't in order for folks to actually obtain a job and industry 
to get the workers they need. That's how we're going to help more Americans climb into the middle class and stay there. That's how we're going to make our overall economy stronger and more competitive. Um, let, me, let me just make this point. If, if we don't decide to do this, you know, it, it's possible that we could choose not to do the things that I just talked about. We could choose not to make investments in clean energy or let tuition prices rise and force more Americans to give up on the American dream. We could choose to uh, walk away from our community college system. Uh, we could say to ourselves, you know what, given foreign competition and low wages overseas, manufacturing's out the door and there's not much we can do about it. Um, we could decide in solving our fiscal problems uh, that we can't afford to make any of these investments. And those of us who've done very well uh, don't have to pay any more taxes uh, in order to fund these investments. But I want to make clear, that's not our history. That's not who we are. I don't accept that future for the United States of America. I see a United States where this nation is able to outcompete every country on Earth, where we continue to be the world's engine for innovation and discovery. Uh, I see a future where we train workers who make things here in the United States and continue a important and honorable tradition uh, of folks working with their hands, creating value, uh, not just uh, shuffling paper. That's part of what has built the American dream. 